Hi, and welcome to Museum at Home. Today, we're focusing on something which is made in the 20th century. Something that really isn't that old. The beautiful stained glass baptistry window at Coventry Cathedral. But first of all, have a little look around your house. I'm sure that you will find lots and lots of windows. How many can you find? Can you describe the windows? The shape, the size, the colour? I guess that they are probably rectangular or square, quite plain and see-through or transparent. Now, how do we make the glass that we find in windows? Well, you have to heat sand to an incredibly high temperature so that it becomes a liquid. When it cools, it changes entirely from its original form and it becomes glass. Stained glass is a special type of glass which is coloured. Sometimes colours can be added during the heating and the making process but sometimes the colours can be painted on after the glass has been made. Now, very often when we talk about stained glass, we refer to old glass in ancient buildings like churches or castles. In fact, stained glass has been used for around a thousand years. If you've ever been into a church or a synagogue or a castle, you might have seen windows that look rather like this. For centuries, stained glass windows have allowed rooms to be flooded with the most beautiful coloured light. But that isn't their only job. In lots of places like churches, stained glass windows show pictures from stories from Bible stories or historical stories about kings and queens. Hundreds of years ago, most people couldn't read or write. So looking at religious or historical stories through pictures in glass allowed them to learn. Very often, stained glass windows can be read a bit like a comic strip. Now, if you have ever read Spider-Man or Batman in a comic strip, you'll be able to read a stained glass window. So let's start off by going back in time. Have a closer look at this window beside me. It's from a large cathedral in the French city of Chartres, and it was made in about the year 1225. Can you spot the figures in it? The window tells a story, just like a comic strip. The life of the great King Charlemagne, or Charles the Great. Each panel tells a different story. Can you spot King Charlemagne going into battle? Have a little look. Or can you spot Charlemagne appearing in a dream? to the Emperor Constantine. Very often, windows were donated by people or by groups of people. In this window, they are shown at the very bottom of the window. These people are the furriers or the fur traders and they paid for the window many, many centuries ago. But now let's fast forward over 700 years to the year 1962. This was the year that Coventry opened its brand new cathedral building after the old cathedral was partially destroyed during the Second World War. Now a modern cathedral surely deserves a modern style, doesn't it? After all, we don't wear the same clothes that people wore hundreds of years ago. So why would we build buildings in the same style? So, have a look at this 
window, the baptistry window in Coventry's new cathedral. How would you describe it? What questions could we ask? Let's think back to some of those question words that we talked about in the last video. What? What does the window show? Can we see a picture? Are there any figures? Are there any clues in writing? And who? Do we know anything about who made the window? Did more than one person make it? And finally, why? Why was it made? Why can't we immediately see what it shows? Well, let's think first of all about what. Now this window is absolutely enormous, larger than a tennis court. What can you see when you look at this window? There isn't an obvious picture, not like the window we saw earlier in the French cathedral. Now this type of style is called abstract and the artist has used colours and shapes to create the design of the window. The man who designed the window was John Piper and it took him two years to come up with the design. Then the task was handed over to a man called Patrick Raytian and his firm took three years to make the actual window. Can you see all of the different patches of colour between the solid black lines in the window? We call these lights and the window is made up of 198 lights, all in different colours. So, what did they want to show in this fabulous window? Well, John Piper discussed his plans with the cathedral and they decided that they wanted something to show the heart of Christian faith and Piper suggested that a pattern of colour might be best. If you think about the imagery in lots and lots of different religions, people often associate the idea of God with light. So perhaps the big pale section in the centre of the window is meant to say something to the people in the building about God. But the window is abstract. So anyone who looks at the window might see something very different and take something different away with them. Perhaps it looks like the sun shining. Perhaps the rainbow around it sticks out more to you. Maybe it looks more like the inside of a volcano. Everyone who looks at this window might see something different. What can you see? Remember, nobody is right and nobody is wrong because we all have our own interpretation. So, check out the website via the link in the description and have a look at the follow-up activities which we've made for you. All of them are on the theme of stained glass windows. Now next time we will be going hundreds of years back through the centuries to the time of the medieval King John and we will be history detectives. We'll be discovering hidden clues on his tomb at Worcester Cathedral. So see you next time for Museum at Home.